Welcome to Tekidia Daily. I'm Ndubisi Ekebe. A conversation today will focus on Zido business model. Uh, Zido is a tricycle or KK aggregator in Lagos. It's basically the only company in Nigeria that is uh, doing the aggregation of KK or basically um, tricycle. So I'll, I'll, if we have that conversation, I will just provide uh, some basic elements or constructs to understand this specific in the industry. Uh, KK is largely useful within the first mile, last mile domain. You are not using it for uh, intercity transportation, because you are not also using it even when intercity for the very long distance. So it's mainly how do you have that first mile and how do you also take care of that last mile. In locations like Lagos, where transportation remains very challenging because of inadequate infrastructure, uh, road networks, uh, KK has uh, emerged as a very good alternative for people to move around because of traffic. So it's fixing specific friction in the transportation domain. So in the area of logistics, uh, there is huge opportunity in that space, especially if uh, the logistics is designed in a way that it doesn't have to be extremely rapidly fast. Imagine a scenario where someone uh, wants to deliver items, like say to Lekki Phase 2 or Phase 1 neighborhood, and you go there and to, to drop it with a specific AKK aggregator operator like Zido. And then from there, Zido can now as it continues to serve customers within that particular locality or vicinity or neighborhood, it can then uh, distribute the items to the residents, just like a normal transportation runs have been done. And we do believe vividly that that friction will be solved in the logistical aid domain while also doing the normal transportation, thereby reducing the cost of doing that logistical run. The opportunity in this space is largely massive because of the transportation paralysis across many, many uh, cities in Nigeria, from Kanu to Kaduna, Tenugu, to Were, to Ibadan Potakot, and Uyo, Lagos. We continue to have a very, very high level of traffic congestion because the population is growing, the rural urban migration continues to advance across the nation, Why infrastructure remains largely at the state it was many decades ago. So the paralysis involved in the transportation domain is only going to get increased over time because we have not added enough capacity to absorb new people coming into the city. So uh, KK is a very solid alternative for people for a very short distance for them to overcome some of the challenges. And it's also something within the sharing economy and the construct that people don't necessarily need to own a lot of assets. And also people that have assets can easily figure out how they can utilize that asset within a, a digital control system that makes it possible for people to discover them with ease. So there is a mobile application that makes it possible that if you own KK, you can be a part of a platform, making it easy for people to Hell, you ask you to come and pick them up at a specific location within a route. And as that happens, you can earn more income and you can have a better lifestyle than, than typical. So it works under the framework of land transportation. Of course, the train system is not advanced in the nation. The POSICs are still largely inadequate. The TASI are always caught up in TASIs, whether it's yellow TASI or whether it's Uber or or boats, the taxi file. Motorbikes have also uh, emerged, but uh, the reality here is that some of them are restricted in some specific areas. The K is also not allowed to apply in some specific areas because they are not designed to be intercity, rather within a very specific local geography. So uh, the geography that it operates um, is always very, very close to where people uh, usually dance. And that's always where you, you figure out a lot of tricyclists 
doing their business. The business model that is evolving through aggregation has been enabled because of mobile internet as well as software. We are Android app uh, enabling the capacity to make it possible for someone who has KK and someone who wants to write KK can come at efficient equilibrium point so that uh, market friction, the transportation domain can be fixed. So this is what happens on aggregation. I'm going to use two nasals to explain exactly what goes on. Then I will now illustrate with KK and Zito. So somebody in the before the use of internet, uh, what people usually do when they go to hotel is that everyone goes to book in a hotel. And there are also cases where uh, rooms, individual rooms and properties of people within that vicinity who are just empty, but no one cares to go to those rooms anymore. But with um, Airbnb, uh, which is also an aggregator, it has aggregated some empty rooms into its own network, uh, making it possible that people can use its own technology uh, to find these empty rooms and now, why other some people can also continue to go to hotels? So what is happening here, like through Airbnb, aggregation has taken place, bringing so many of these empty rooms so that people can now book them. And in the domain of uh, transportation, especially in taxi domain of cars, in the past, um, uh, people held taxis. And now there are people that own their vehicles, potential drivers, but there was no efficient way of reaching them. In the age of Uber, what has happened here is that Uber has aggregated some of these potential drivers into its ecosystem, making it possible that people can now help them and now use them to, to go to from one place to the other. So in Zido, what is happening here is that we used to have potential drivers here, and, 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 and then there is the KK ecosystem, and everything is it's just on his app running. But Zido has made it possible that um, people that own KK can now come into the Bizo ecosystem and, and there will be a more efficient advanced equilibrium point, uh, making it possible that people who need uh, KK can just press an app, a button and app, and someone who has KK can easily come and, and get him. To, to the destination where he needs to be. So what Zido is doing here is an asset light business model built on aggregational constructs that he doesn't have to own the asset. All he needs to do is to provide an equilibrium framework that makes it possible that this person that wants to ride can find somebody who will carry him or her. So Zido does largely three things here. It does the KK business. It also enables you to show the brand across city as these uh, KK, uh, as they move around the communities. And then it also does delivery in case uh, either delivery within its own, own, own route. So Zero creates jobs, it, it fixes frictions in the market, in transportation and logistics, and it's also delivering a higher level of optimality on space usage. Instead of having cars that will occupy a lot of space, Zero can easily, because of its size, maneuver, creating a better equilibrium and also a better environmental scene than when you have cars. Everything runs on a mobile ecosystem, which is available on Android ecosystem. So um, what you see here is somebody has something to ship. You can leave it with, uh, 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 with Zido, and then Zido can deliver it to the recipient. And then Zido is doing this thing when it's still running the typical transportation equally uh, business because as he is doing this transportation he can easily integrate last mile and first mile logistic process within his own ecosystem so it zero aggregates uh, the transportation work and then can also transform that transportation work enabling many many uh, uh, Z, many uh, kk drivers or KK operators in order to reach out to the final recipient for, for logistical part. So everyone comes here with goods to be shipped, drop all these goods with Zido, and now Zido can now move those uh, packages to his own uh, operators which are within his own network, and these operators can now deliver them to their respective uh, recipient. So you have here 
a transportation system, you also have your logistic system. All of them aggregated within a solid equilibrium point. And, and how does it also bring in more partners into this ecosystem? So what Zido is doing here, it says, okay, I need to have as many, many um, KK within my network. So he said, okay, if you have money or you have spare money or you have capital to invest, give me this money. And if you give me this money, we are going to help you get a KK in your name. And that KK now will be used to find a driver who can run it efficiently within our own network, making sure that when that person does it over a period of time, you'll be paid off and that driver can now keep that particular KK long term. And they, so these drivers will use it for, for logistics. These drivers can also use that for transportation. But the big thing here is that Zero guarantees you efficiency in the domain of making sure that your money that you are investing in is, is investing is actually replayed back with a very good profit. So it is making this possible that someone who doesn't want to write KK but who has capital can participate in the in the business framework that it is building. And it's also also uh, looking at franchise partners across the nation because this is how he wants to expand. From this website, it shows that someone can come in as a partner, let's say in Kanu, let's say in Nubi, let's say in Bado. And now through his mobile application, that person can now share revenue or share profitability depending on the framework that's adopted to make sure that he can bring more, more people into the system. So this is a higher level of aggregation where you can bring in more people into an ecosystem that is already in place so that they can help to drive efficiency and bring in network effect, which makes the whole platform better. The fascinating thing about this is this, that you can use one system to drive transportation uh, and also drive logistics. And if you do that, you are going to save huge costs because you are using one thing to actually accomplish two things. And I expect as competition hits, especially across different domains, as we are seeing in the cities like Lagos, and a company like Zido is going to provide a very solid alternative uh, to people uh, uh, to, to ride, and, and especially in the last mile and the first mile domain. So this is basically the business model of, 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 uh, of Zido. And it's called aggregation. And this company is executing very, very efficiently. You are listening to, to Take Media Daily. Thank you.